for this video. Hi, this is Charlie, and this will be the inaugural episode of And Here's Why, where we take a topic and we explain it. And here's the panel. Uh, here we have Chance and Megan, and of course, you know, Shiz Biscuit. <laughs> so, Shiz Biscuit! Yeah, so today's topic uh, is going to be what is the ideal first date? And so we have people with different walks of life to give their input, and we all should have something pretty different uh, and valuable, but you know, less so than mine. So uh, we're gonna start off with Chance here. So, what do you think is the ideal first day? What traits are necessary? Well, since I'm from a different walk of life than you, a less cultured one, <laughs> I would have to say that my ideal first date would be going somewhere like the stockyards or downtown where the culture, like the stores and everything, they're dedicated to the culture. Like if you've ever been to stockyards, it's got all the Texan Western wear and like barbecues and bars mm. and you can go see a rodeo if you want to. And you don't go anywhere specific, you just like browse around and look at stuff and have fun and get really get to know your partner. And then you can stop somewhere and have dinner if you get hungry. And then I think to wrap it up, you'd want to go to a park or like somewhere where you can be, I, I don't want to say alone, make it sound creepy, but mm. somewhere where you can just, you know, kind of hang out and evaluate yourself. Yeah, you kind of need a reflection of yeah. like you're spread out and so many things are going on. Uh, if you're in that situation then you need to bring it close together or somewhere that there's less uh, stimulus so you can more focus on what's actually happening. That's a, that's a really good point. And like, just reflect on your feelings. Right, that. that makes sense. Okay. Uh, you're here for the female input, so do you have anything? <laughs> not you, not you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so, what do you have? Like, what traits are necessary for a good first date? Someone well, like me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. um, uh, Chance has pro pretty much nailed it. There has to be room for it to be spontaneous. Yeah, be. And um, bring a flower. That'd be nice. Like a daisy? It's very flower. stereotypical. Like a daisy. Not, not a rose. Not a rose. No, that's, that's too, too serious. Yeah, <laughs> my, my I kind of, okay, exactly. I am kind of against the flower thing, but I will agree that a rose is terrible <laughs> as compared to like, a different flower. Because a rose is like, hey, um, I'm interested in marriage. Let's see if we can make this work. But the regular <laughs> flower is just like, hey, I like you. You're pretty. Yeah. Give her like a bright <laughs> flower. Like, You're pretty. Like, you pick in your backyard. Yeah, it's it's almost juvenile, yeah. but like I, I think it will work. Now get her so. a dandelion. Yeah. Just that like, crap in your backyard you don't want. Just get out of here. I think yeah, that's the flower is very old school. Like an in Indiana mm -hmm. Jones is more accessible. But you want class. Just a girl wants class. Yeah. Not. It is. Okay. So old is class. <laughs> No, uh, that's no. a whole other, we can actually talk the about flower how isn't necessary. Yeah. old school, not necessarily classy. Anyways, I mean, so black his blade idea is, is terrible. My <laughs> idea on the, the black contract blade is, pretty, oh, is great. He's, oh, he's See, so. my idea for a first date, which would be amazing, is dinner and a movie. There you go. And uh, <laughs> I think a movie would be great because it has perfect moments like this. That's right. And you get to eat afterwards. I mean, what's not bad about that? You get to go to a movie, watch what you want. Not really. She's biscuit. And then you, yes. Have you ever been on a date? Actually, I have. Yeah. With a girl? Yeah. Like a Surprising real girl. Point. You understand what a girl yes, is, like, right? One like Megan. Like she, she was breathing, right? <laughs> yeah. She was, was it she was fully cognizant. Oh my god. Was, I'm not was a necrophilia. Come on. Was it our film guy? Was it Kendall? Kendall. Kendall isn't even here, and no. He's sure pretty cute. Hey, I, like, I don't know. No. No, anyway. He has those feminine <laughs> characteristics. He has like the shape of. Look, Kendall likes watching. He's terrible. Anyways, Kendall likes... yeah, don't talk about that. We'll, we'll just get off. We're getting off track. But, anyways, you get to go to a great dinner. Well, not too great because you already dropped 12 bucks a ticket on the movie. So, you don't want to waste all your money on her. I mean, it's a first date after all. Second. Actually, yeah. the movie sounds pretty horrible. Right? Okay, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> why would Miss, you... Mr. Biscuit. Yes. Let me tell you why that's a terrible idea. Okay, so, a um, uh, movie is a very common uh, idea for a first date, and it's really because people are uncomfortable. And I, I, I don't know, I just never have felt that that was I a good it's idea. A it's like a, it's, I've never had that problem because I've never had the inability to communicate with someone like one-on-one. -on -one. Like, I've never had the awkward, yeah. I'm not intimidated, so I don't have to be like, oh, we need a buffer to like put up so that we can't have a communication. Um, and so because of that, I've always thought that it was a cop-out because, like, you're not talking, you're not getting to know the person, you're just trying to share an experience together. And, like, mine kind of has something to do with that, but I'll explain why it's better than, like, a movie because a movie's very passive. You're, like, you're just both watching it, and then, like, it does give you material to talk about afterwards. Yeah, that's why exactly, it's very common. that's what I was just thinking. Uh -huh. like, 
The best movie, though, is the Disney movie. Every chick loves a Disney movie. It's kind of true. Do you? It's kind of true. Come on. Uh, come on. Every chick loves it. But I don't I, think I, it's kind of You're definitely not a first date, but like, no. if you've been dating for a while, yeah. like, you're like, I know you like Disney movies. Yeah, it's Finding Nemo see, yeah. or Wally, and then, then you Wally. might Wally. cry because it's very sad. Mm -hmm. Wally. Okay. <laughs> I never finished Wally, so I don't know. No, I said they don't even speak that much, but it's... So yeah, I know. Sad. It's The dialogue's brilliant. No. Um... <laughs> I'm just doing a little bit more. Uh, so here's my idea: the perfect first date. Uh, the perfect first date is a theme park, and here's why. Okay, so when you're going, to, first of all, let us just say uh, like a Six Flags or something. There's a lot of stuff to do. As long as you don't die. Yeah, that's true. Uh, that, yeah, let's make topical. <laughs> you don't get thrown out of the type. Yeah, let's make topical as as totally as inappropriate as jokes. As long as your day isn't over 300 pounds. Well, it is yeah. Mr. Shiz. Really. Yeah, Mr. Shiz has no idea. Um, so, there is a lot of stuff to do. There's places to eat. Um, and the reason this is a lot different than, like, say, a uh, downtown area is because what, when you go and you're riding uh, roller coasters together, you're both going through a thing when your body releases a lot of endorphins and so because of that and it's like a very pleasurable reaction so um, you're almost tricking the girl's brain I, I don't want to say this like underhandedly let me just say I've never done this but like if you take her to a theme park you're like almost guaranteed to actually get an emotional bond with her because I mean it's like you're going through all these uh, your mind is interpreting it as like, oh, you're in a life that life or death situation, fight or flight response. So all these endorphins are releasing. Then it's like, oh, but it's also pleasurable. So uh, let's release oxytocin, and your brain's like, oh my gosh, what's what's the common factor in all these things? Why am I experiencing this? So you look at that other person, you're like, oh, that's the per that's the reason. All these good things and all these feelings are coming from that person. I feel alive. So like you're uh, you're pairing the two stimuli together, mm -hmm. and so uh, you're conditioning their brains. Uh, so that's a very psychological, analytical way of looking at a date. Um, but that's really something that is honestly effective. And also, I mean, it's just kind of romantic when it's like, you're at the top of a ride. Like, if you go to the Ferris wheel, I mean, not and that And you get stuck up at the top. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're the, we're the, that would be an appropriate time for one of these. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's what really we're talking about. For those that's people that are afraid of roller coasters, right. there's still the dinner and the movie. I gotcha. Sure. That's great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just pair with someone who is completely incapable of having fun. That sounds great. The thing sounds like about riveting. Theme, yes. theme parks though is they're incredibly expensive. Like you could you couldn't go obviously every date and yeah. it would be hard to correlate a first date to go to a theme park. I just, I feel like I'm kinda of dumbing it down after what you said. <laughs> but uh <laughs> At the These same time. And it's what is there to eat at the theme park? I mean overpriced knockoffs of Panda Buffet? Panda buffet. <laughs> buffet. What is a panda buffet? I don't know. Knock off of the knockoff. That's what they have in... <laughs> <laughs> no. They... There's good food for there. Panda. I'm, panda! I'm pretty buffet. sure, like, that's really, really, not even secondary, that's like tertiary. So, it's... Like the $10 meal at McDonald's at the theme park? Yeah. But, I mean, whatever. There's always things you can eat and there's things to do. That's not the most important part, like I said. What about <laughs> the money saving? Yep. Come on! Stop being so, like... Uh, parsimonious. Sometimes that's not uh, good when you're trying to think about what's actually important in life. So, money is important. Everyone at home, parsimonious. Parsimonious. <laughs> oh, oh look, cinnamon. Being cinnamon. 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 Being frugal. Dish bag. Being frugal. Shh, being, frugal <laughs> being frugal. Being frugal to the point of stinginess. Frugal. <laughs> frugal. 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 <laughs> <laughs> There's something with fruit. I don't know. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, frugal. Okay. <laughs> um, so like, can have of those, which which of the three that we came up with would you, as a girl, um, feel most comfortable in a situation? Girl, like, if you looking. didn't know my deep, uh, seated, underhanded reasons for mine, let's just say like, oh look, a theme park, like be your well, Okay, well your deep seated, like, reasonings, whatever, well what if, if you get to know the girl to you and you really said, just don't like her? Hmm? What if after all those... And then she's, like, super attached to you? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Like, what if... You're screwed. What if after all these chemicals are gone, she turns into, like... You don't like her anymore. Like, you really get to know her. Like, she's a psycho. Like, yeah, like calls you every, like, three minutes. Charlie, how come you haven't texted me back? <laughs> well, girls do that anyway, but, uh... Yeah. Anyways. Um, so, the movie... No. <laughs> no movie. That's just too much, like... It's it's like you expect them in the movie to grab your hand or something, and it's just extremely awkward, and it just yeah. Oh, I was gonna ask you about situation. that. Like, what are 
to 